Mini travels. Mini travels. There's the mini. That's uh, that's how I go road driving. My mini. Mini and me. That cat's bummed. That cat's so bummed. He hasn't been able to play all day. You know. But so my mini adventures and I are part of my writing. I want you to enjoy my videos and uh, look for those articles someplace. Hi, Kat here. Welcome to my channel. What are the playlists? So playlist, I have information about planetary tantra, the planetary tantra list. Uh, recovering from narcissistic abuse, going from sur surviving, now thriving, which I'm working on now currently, to actually thrive. Uh, there are three playlists. One of them is raised by a narcissistic mother. The second one is a narciss the narcissistic male. Okay. And then uh, the third one is the, you know, the healing and recovery from, and that's where I'm at. And three is the charm. So yeah, another day of no um, irritant man in my life it is a fabulous day. So take a look at all of that. I have a soundtrack from when I was a stripper. Because I don't just talk about being a stripper, talk about how I got there. And it took me until 59 to heal um, the delusion I had of my past. I actually did not know I had a narcissistic mother until August of 2022. Hey there. How you doing? Doing good? All right. And, um, yeah. Yeah, he's always in his tuxedo, ready to go out. I, I do iMovie. Look at those toes. I do iMovie. Um, my phone only has like the capacity for 64 gigs uh, or, or gigabytes. Yeah. GBs. Let's go see if that cat's out here. Let's go see if that cat is out here. Hey, bud. Yeah, I thought I heard you. Yeah, I'm going to attend to the kitties now. Yeah, hello, hello. <laughs> oh yeah, I pet sit. They're not my cats. Doesn't either, either of you want to go into that basket? Either of you? Huh? I mean, come on, it's so tempting, isn't it? If I had catnip, you'd go in there. That's what I have to do. I have to get some catnip. Um, but I brought my trusted book. So that, you know, continue writing, writing every day. And that this is like, I talk about the Savannah Inn. So at this moment, I'm sitting in king-sized bed, watching ocean waves roll onto the shore. I kind of actually see the shore since sand dunes um, are covered with seagrass, block my view. But, you know, I talk about why it's good. So yeah, another day of no um, irritant man in my life. It is a fabulous day, you know, because Carolina Beach can be real bare for parking, and it's notoriously bad for parking. And I have a story there; it's actually quite funny. I um, I parked my mini at night, and according to Google Maps, it was um, a legitimate parking place. And uh, then, you know, you know what happened? I left my car in the spot. And again, according to Google Maps, a satellite, there were cars parked there. And I had to pay $100 for a permit, but that was better than a $250 ticket. And I bought the permit while I was at the Savannah Inn. So yeah, another day of no um, irritant man in my life. It is a fabulous day. And I had this whole interaction with City Hall and the police department about parking, and that's a big issue. So, you know, that's what I was going to write about. It's an educational piece for everybody, including Carolina Beach, because the police officer gave me a ticket, but I wasn't going to spend $50. That was unjustifiable. 
because there wasn't any clear signage and satellite had shown that cars were parking in that parking spot and the city hall lady. And I said to her, well, do you guys have a, a sheet or information printed out that can show me where the parking spots are for the city, uh, the town of, uh, actually town of Carolina Beach? And she said it's all online. So after arguing with the police officer and letting them know that I thought that the ticket was unjustifiable and they were adamant and refused uh, to uh, alter it and, and were not going to do so, I called the city to let them know that I um, there's a big miscommunication. But I also really, really, really wanted to know. And this is why I asked her. Are you trying to discourage uh, visitors to your town spending money at your establishments? Are you trying to do that? Because if you are, you're really successful. And she's like, oh, no, 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 no. Anyway, so it's a golf cart parking. And that is the big wow moment. That's the pinnacle of the story. And I was like, oh, so that's why um, when I got my car, I was surrounded by golf carts. I even took a video of it. Yes, my mini has found a spot. I love my car. Because I was like, look, my, my, my mini is even shorter than this golf cart. Look at that. Look at this one. This thing is even longer than my mini. Rock on, Minnie. Like, this is the perfect parking spot for a compact car. So, in addition to looking on Google Maps, it was listed as a valid parking spot, and they didn't have the caveat that it was for golf carts only. I went to City Hall on the way out after I got this um, ticket directly to the very office that had given me the permit after I paid $100 for it, that I had a, a violation I wished to contest because it wasn't clear that the parking was for golf carts only. I'd actually walked all the way towards the boardwalk. There was a sign in the very, very back that said golf cart only. They walked down there and I gave them this story with all those facts I just gave you. And they said, you're right. Um, we'll just call up uh, this Lieutenant so-and-so and, -so and uh, you're good to go. And uh, that's what they did. Because he had walked down. I had sent him down there. He goes, oh no, it's clear as day. I go, no, it's not. The signage is in the very back. It's not clear as day. And he goes, yeah, it is. Uh, oh, you're, you're, you were upholding the violation. I'd already bargained with him. You know, I'd already had that experience of him saying that, oh no, no, it's clear. No, it wasn't clear. And the city hall realized it too, especially after they looked at their website, they looked on Google Maps. Who is operating your web? You need to update it, especially since when I went to get the permit, the woman uh, said it's all online. And then it was, and it didn't say anything about golf carts only. So the city hall woman who uh, was the authority, she said, yes, that zoning law just uh, happened last summer. So there you have it. Uh, so when in life, you know, something happens, get a hold of yourself and find out what you can do about it, you know? <laughs> yes, my mini has found a spot. I love my car. It's in good company. <laughs> It's out shining the company because that's the best car ever. It's the same size as a golf cart. I think this one might even be longer. Look at this one. This thing is even longer than my mini. 
rock on, Minnie. There's the Mini, that's, uh, that's how I go road driving, my Mini. And it's really a great drive. If many would like to sponsor me for any of my videos, I accept. I'm not a sellout, I love these cars. But so my Mini Adventures and I are part of my writing. I want you to enjoy my videos and uh, look for those articles someplace. That, that car really can carry so much in it. Mini travels. Mini travels. Travels. To be with the best cats ever. Yes, you.